What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie's Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what other messages come out for you at this time. Also, I am doing personals this week, this weekend. If y'all are interested, $20, okay? And it's going to be four questions. And you can do four questions or um, you can do an overall general reading, all right? This would be love messages. This will also be uh, money, finances, and career. What's the T? And then I even throw in a believe in your own magic deck right along with the uh, fortune cookie deck. So if you're interested, feel free to check that out. I will put the information down in the, the description box below. And I'll put it in the community tab. And I'll try to remember to put it in the comments section. But you can pay via PayPal or Cash App. Make sure you send me a receipt when you send the email to lesliejonestarot at yahoo.com. And um, I will get that back to you as soon as I get to it. Which that will be out in the next 24 to 48 hours for you anyway. All right. Okay, so let's see what's going on. So if you're interested, I right, what's going on? I'm doing I'm doing personals now because next month I will be having to work like some overtime and stuff like that. So I won't be able to do any more personals for like almost a month. So all right, let's see what's going on. What's going on with Scorps? What's going on in Scorpio's energy? We got protest. Start a revolution. All right, and tree. Let them go. All right, so. You may be needing to release someone. 28. 28 is like standing up for yourself to fighting back. You've been looking around and noticing that the world is often unjust, but you are not sure what to do about it. Like Katniss, you need to be the first spark of your own revolution. Educate yourself. Stand up for yourself. Don't forget to stand up for others, whether or not you have shared experiences. If you can speak up and do so safely, then do it. So you may have to stand up. And you may, you may not even realize by you by you being someone that's like the whistleblower or standing up against something, you could really save a lot of other people. Maybe other people are scared to do it, and you're not. You're ballsy. You're like, man, I got it. I'm gonna do it. You know. Of course, if if it's safe for you to do it, you could really like, you know, start something that could change a lot of people's lives. Okay, and um, that could be part of your purpose. Uh, let them go is at the bottom of the deck. You often take on the pain of others. You used to think it was because you are an empath, but these days you're not so sure. Sometimes it feels like other people are emptying their emotions into you and giving nothing in return. Sometimes we even feel we've inherited pain from those who come before us in our family tree. This is your permission to let go. Your life is ultimately about you, not what other people expect you to carry for them. So that could be what's going on. A lot of y'all can be surrounded by people that uh, you're helping or you feel like you need to help or you feel like you need to lighten their loads or, and, and, and things like that, you know. Maybe you feel very empathic, but you can be realizing that people are just kind of taking advantage. Y'all, You could, uh, could have attracted like a lot of narcissistic people. And um, you got to realize you got to put you first, Scorpio. Yeah, a lot of people expect you, like they look at you and they're like, well, Scorpio is strong. Scorpio can do a lot. Scorpio can do this. Scorpio, no, it's not your job. We all have our own journey. You're not meant to carry everybody else's load. You're meant to take care of your journey. Do what's needed for you to make your life better as well. Not trying to say that you need to be selfish right now, but you're around a lot of people that like you, maybe you've always used to been the one to carry the load for other people or you've always been the yes person like yeah i do it don't worry i'll handle it i'll get it covered and spirit is saying no it's time for you to stand up and then you never know there could be other family members that stand up with you like yeah man you need to get your stuff together you know what i'm saying like this could be like a a cousin like maybe you always been the rescuer for this cousin maybe you've always stepped in you helped them you pulled them up or a child or you know not saying like a child that's small or anything but, but like a grown child like in their 20s and 30s and not saying that you can't help your kids or nothing like that. But if they're taking advantage to the point where they're like, well, my mom always does this for me or my mom always or my dad always like, no, you deserve to live your life, too. You know. So let's see here. This ain't the deck I want. 
That's not the deck I want. Let's see. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with Scorpio's energy? What's going on? And this could, this don't even have to be like a huge thing. This could literally be standing up for that one family member like, no, I'm not doing that. You know, like maybe a family member wants you to babysit or maybe a family wants you to run them to the store. And you're like, no, I got plans. No, I'm not doing it. But somebody wants you to like, they want to push their load off on you. Like they expect you to do it, you know, and it's time to let hey. them go. Let's see what's going on. Scorpio, Scorpio, sex shop. Okay. What about that? Arguments, putting them in their place. Okay. So somebody could be arguing about sex. Somebody could be knowing they effed up. Somebody could be arguing about sex or maybe they don't, they don't, for some of y'all, somebody could have a sexual addiction with the sex shop. That's giving me like sex store type of vibes for some reason. But others of you, this could be like somebody trying to come to you because they don't have their priorities together. Like they want to lay up and stuff like that instead of handling their business. What's going on? Scorpio energy. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, somebody may come to you about they like they sexual life or something like that. And it's like, I don't want to hear it. Setting the record straight. This could be somebody like very promiscuous. They sleep around. They they can't find relationships or they feel like <laughs> they feel like somebody's using them for sex. I don't know. <laughs> Promiscuous. Okay, yeah, this could be somebody complaining about, like, maybe they got a partner that sleep around on them all the time, and it's like, I don't want to hear shit. You know, like, I don't want to hear it. I've told you, you should let that person go, or if you don't want to deal with it, then cut them off. Something like that. It's like something this person keeps coming to you about, and it's like, I don't want to hear it. Or they just don't listen. Like, maybe you've told them before, like, stand up for yourself, or, you know, da 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 something like that, and they just don't want to hear it. The Sorry about smell, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Promiscuous sleeps around a whole free for all sleeps with your man. This could be somebody coming to you like, oh, she was supposed to be my friend and she da 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 da. And it's like, but you already, I've told everybody was telling you like you need to be careful with old girl. She's not your real friend. She, you could tell she flirt with your man and stuff like that. I don't know something like that. And it's like, it's like we told you if she has a track record, like she sleeps with everybody's man. And it's like we told you not to hang out with her or we told you not to bring her around your man or or your girl or something like that. And it's like, I can't believe this happened. It's like, well, we don't want to hear it. We told you. I don't know. It's like <laughs> somebody's doing something and it's like <laughs> Oh no, I think I think y'all just on the I don't give a F's. Okay, because it's something like now, others of y'all, y'all could have, maybe somebody caught somebody cheating and like y'all putting somebody in their place or something like that. What's going on? Maybe you're telling somebody they need to let them go. Ghost of disappearing, ghost of in and out. Stop, baby. Don't do that. Don't do that. Come on. Stop. Don't do that. Ghosted, disappearing, ghosted, in and out. Somebody could be coming in and telling you like somebody keeps ghosting them or is in and out with them inconsistent with them or something like that that somebody's a player so like i don't understand why this person keep in your life because they don't want a relationship or because they're a player or because they don't plan on long term with you like it's something like that you could see it maybe other people have told this person but this person just don't want to listen it's like I, I don't know what's going on or this could be you you could be seeing this like yo like you keep ghosting me or you keep being in and out with me. I don't want to deal with you. And like this person, it's like they keep thinking they're going to come in here and sleep with you. And you may have to finally put this person in their place. Like you may have to do that. What's protest? Haunted. Yeah. Memories, flashbacks, trauma, and side effects. Some of y'all are like have went through some sort of trauma because of this person or like something brings bad memories to you or somebody could be suffering from like ptsd or like uh, somebody could be like dealing with issues or having flashbacks about this person it's like something keeps haunting you or somebody you know or something keeps haunting somebody and they keep coming towards you with it what's going on what's the protest card groupie 
This could be somebody that only like that likes people to be around them. Bad karma for attention. This could be the type of person that only like, okay, like say somebody got money, right? And then they keep attracting the same type of person. And it's because they have something or they flashed their money. Maybe you told this person like, well, maybe you shouldn't wear all that jewelry and da, 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 da. Maybe you should just kind of like dress down, dress regular and, or, you know, don't tell people everything that you got because then you're going to attract the little groupy energies that just want to come around you for what it is that you have. Right. And like this person just won't listen, won't listen or something. I don't know. It's like. And somebody keeps attracting these groupy energies. And of course, they don't want anything. They just want what they can get. They just want to be around you for the cloud or for what it is that they can obtain off of you. What's the protest card? Kissing ass. Yep. And then on face, yeah, it's like somebody may try to come in and like brown nose you or something like that. But it's because they want something. They want something. Acting cold. You may end up cutting this person off or becoming like real cold to this person. You're you're very unfazed by this person. Like this person ain't bothering you. It's like, honey, you minding your business. You could have already let them go. Or this is what you need to do. What's going on? Or this person, whoever this is, too busy winning. Yeah, because you you got too much good stuff going on with the too busy winning, tripping on you. And like somebody just, yeah, it's like they act in some sort of way. Love trying. They could have chosen another love over you. They could be trying to trip out on you or like flip out on you because of the choice that they made. And it's like that ain't got nothing to do with you now. You know, they made they did so lying and type of energy. Stop, baby. One second, y'all. Okay. Let's see, what else is going on? Jackpot. So, yeah, you could be getting some sort of inheritance or some sort of money could be coming in. Maybe you've leveled up in some sort of way or something like that, and people see that. And so you could be attracting, like, a lot of groupy energy. And you may have to just cut these people off. You may have to, I heard some of y'all may have to move. What's going on? Low IQ. These are, like... Low vibrational energies. I don't want to say like not too smart people, but it's like people, some of y'all need to play dumb to like certain people that are coming around so that you can see what their true intentions are. Cause you're going to find that a lot of people are just around you for what it is that they can get up out of you. Yeah. Travel cards. They, they not calling or coming towards you because they really want to be around you. It's because of like what they can get from you or what they can get out of you. Clarify this energy. So me, I need to like play a little slow to get yeah, fed up. So, you know, some of y'all are tired of slow people. I'm sorry. That low IQ with the fed up and that jackpot, it's like, or you tired of people thinking that you slow. Like, I know why you coming around me or I know why you only dealing with me and it's because you want some money or it's because you need something. Like, what the, what, what is it? I don't know. Y'all could be getting frustrated with people. This may be why you end up standing up and cutting some people off. Because, again, it said on that card, yeah, this is your permission to let go. Your life is ultimately about you, not what other people expect you to care for them. Some of y'all about to, like, y'all may end up with that arguments putting them in their place and don't want to hear it. Y'all may have to say something to some people that you didn't think you would have to say, child. <laughs> you may end up, like, speaking some truth, saying something, because people keep playing you like you slow, Scorpio. Like they they act like you don't see what they're doing. What's what's protest? Come in, brown nose. You. Oh, you're the best. You're the best sister of all. Or oh, you're the best brother of all. Or oh, you're the best uh, um auntie or something like that. Or girlfriend. Looking you up, researching you, studying, getting info. Yeah, boss, daddy, stable, rich, business owner, CEO, big D energy. For some of y'all, this is like a boss figure could be trying to like suck up to you, trying to find out information on you or something like that. Trying to be in your business. What's going on? I just heard cold calling. I ain't heard that in a long time. Cold calling. That's like when you... If I remember correct, that's like you call somebody to see if that's their number. Like you do like a... Like you say the name to see if you can catch them off guard and stuff like that. We used to do that in like debt collecting and stuff. So it's like somebody may be trying to like... Call you from random numbers. Okay. 
Somebody might be trying to like call you from random numbers you don't see it and to see if you're gonna answer. This could be people you haven't talked to in a while. Oh, I ain't heard that word in a long time. What's going on? Whoa. Yeah, because it's like they can't get no proof on you. Look, photo proof getting evidence in reverse. It's like people trying to look you up, want you back. This is These are people that want to be back in your energy or want to be back around you. But it's like they looking you up and they can't find out what you got going on or what you're doing or if you're talking to anybody or what you got going on in your life. Maybe you're not posting as much as you used to. Hmm. Uninterested. Yeah, it's like this, this could be a person that you're just not interested in anymore. You're not interested talking to or dealing with or... But this person wants you back. They want to be back in your energy. They want to be back around you is what I'm seeing. But I just, I, I don't see you having any interest in this person. It's because you, you kind of got your own thing going on or you got your own flow going on. It's like you became okay with letting this person go because you realized that all they did was wanted something up out of you anyway. It's like, yeah, you don't want to hear all that. Now, how does Scorpio know this message is for them? How will Scorpio know this message is for them? How will Scorpio know that this message is for them? How will Scorpio know that this message is for them? All right, one more shuffle. How will Scorpio know that this message is for them? I plan on trying to upload all day today, y'all. On all three platforms. On this um, channel, the other channel... Uh, Big Moon Goddess Tarot, as well as TikTok. So be looking out, y'all. Somebody could live in a duplex or a fourplex, or that could be significant. Somebody on their uncle. Cheerleader or gymnastics. Fleece or throw blanket. Somebody a toe ring. Black or colorful socks. Full moon rituals or cleanse. Angel numbers 9, 9, 10, 10. Somebody windshield wipers. Could be raining where y'all are. 20s and 30s, or you need some new windshield wipers or something. Lazy day, phone off and not answering the door. So, and that could be what it is. Public humiliation and embarrassment. Uh, they knew that they were doing you dirty. Some about white socks. Hoochie daddy shorts. Some about Starbucks. Laundry is overflowing. Some of y'all need to do your laundry. Headset, headphones, or earbuds. Some of y'all can be buying some new headphones or something. We got Facebook or Instagram. Bubbles, gold buttons, black or orange hair. Somebody a manicure or pedicure set. Somebody could be in their 40s and 50s. And child support payments could be significant. All right. So I'm going to leave it there, Scorps. This is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.